Interest in cycling is increasing every day. A bike is inexpensive transportation, good recreation, and good exercise. But, like many other things, a bicycle can be dangerous if it's not used properly. streets. The child was taken to a local hospital in undetermined condition. We'll have more news in a moment. That's why I didn't want you to take your new bike out onto the street until you finished your bike safety course. I think since we all ride bikes, we ought to let Colin tell us what she's learned about bike safety. Okay. Well, what the man at the bike shop tell you? He said to make sure the bicycle was the right size and to be careful. Now, bike is the right size. If you can put your heel on the pedal in its down position with your knee just slightly bent, the handlebars should be adjusted so that you lean slightly forward. Also, make sure that the handlebars and seat are tight. And check to see that your brakes work properly before riding out into the street. What are some of the things you learned in your bike safety class at school? Well, first he said to ride in a straight line and not to show off. Ride in a straight line and don't show off. Keep your hands on the handlebars at all times except when making signals. With both hands on the handlebars, you will have control if you hit a bump. Bikes should move in the same direction as traffic and should stay as far as possible to the right side of the roadway. When there are several riders, ride in single file. Let drivers know what you are going to do. Always signal before you make a change of direction. A left turn is made by extending your left arm out to the left before you begin the turn. Then return your hand to the handlebars and check the road behind you before you make the turn. Making a right turn, again signal by extending your left arm up at a 45 degree angle. Return your hand to the handlebars and look before the turn is made. If you are going to stop or slow down, drop your left arm to the side before you begin to stop. possible, use streets with little traffic. But remember, you must use all the safety practices you would use in heavy traffic. Ride in a straight line. That way, cars will not be surprised by a sudden change of direction, and you will have better control of your bike. When you are riding beside parked cars, watch out for one pulling out from the curb or for someone opening a door. Look ahead. If you see someone getting into a car, you will know he will soon move the car. Or if you see someone parking ahead of you, you will know to be on the lookout for a door opening. Look ahead and try to figure out what drivers are going to do before they do it. Watch cars ahead of you. If the car's signal light comes on, you know he plans to turn. As soon as you see the signal, you can begin to slow down. 
An excellent piece of safety equipment is a good horn. That way you can signal if you see danger. You and your bike are not very large compared to other cars and trucks on the streets, so anything you can do to be more easily seen will add to your safety. You will be seen better if your bike is painted a bright color and if you wear bright clothing. Safety flags on your bike will help drivers see you behind obstructions and other cars. Traffic signs and signals are for bikes just as much as they are for cars. A stop sign means just what it says. Stop, look in both directions, and don't go until it's safe. Stop if the light is red. Do not go into the intersection if the light is already yellow. Stop. After the light turns green, Make sure traffic is stopped in both directions before going through the intersection. At a busy intersection, stop your bike, get off, and walk it across the crosswalk. Pedestrians have the right of way. Any time there is someone crossing the street, stop and let them go first. When leaving your bike, park it out of the way. A bike which isn't parked correctly, or even worse, lying down, can be a danger to pedestrians or cars or to your bicycle. Don't leave your bike near cars, because the driver will not be able to see it out the car window. If there is no place provided for bicycle parking, put your bike in a place out of the way. When you leave your bike, put it in a place provided for it and lock it if you can. A license is another good way to protect your bike. It will help the police find your bike if it is lost or stolen. Use a basket if you carry packages. Don't pile things up so that your view is blocked. Going down a hill, be careful not to go too fast because it's hard to control and stop a fast-moving bike. Use the brakes all the way down the hill. Don't wait till you get to the bottom to try and stop. If you cannot go up a hill easily, get off and push your bike. When you have to cross a railroad track, stop your bike and look in both directions before you cross. Safety also depends on your knowing how your bike works. If you have a bike with more than one gear, it's important to know how to shift. When you change gears, sit down on the seat before you shift. Then make sure the bike has changed gears before standing up to pedal. Never change gears while standing up. 
If your bike has hand brakes, you will probably have two controls, one for each hand. One operates the front wheel, the other the back wheel. Always use both brakes at the same time. If only the front brake is used, the bike may flip over or go out of control. If you must ride at night, there are several things that will make night riding safer. Make sure you have good lights. Wear clothing that is light color. You will probably be able to see the lights from cars long before the driver can see you, so stay out of his way. Remember, to stay safe on your bike, don't show off. Ride in a straight line. Ride on the right side of the road, going in the same direction as traffic. Always use hand signals before turning. Use streets with light traffic when you can. Watch for cars turning in front of you. Obey all signs and signals. Stop for pedestrians. Park your bike out of the way. If you see a train, don't try to beat it. Wait until the train passes. Night riding requires good lights and light-colored clothing. A license is another good way to protect your bike. It will help the police find your bike if it is lost or stolen. Look out for yourself and for others. Bike riding is fun when it is done safely.